Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno, the Meniere's Disease Warrior. I'm at the, the hospital right now. I just had my steroid shot done. So I'm gonna sit here 15 minutes and wait. Luckily there wasn't too much pain because I, I have a hole in my eardrum from the tube. Uh, so hopefully it'll reduce everything and be back on our way. But uh, you know, I'll make a video when I get home and I'll attach this to it in the beginning of it, uh, it's a little bit more expensive about it. So that's it. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I'm home. Um, you know, as you saw the video from me in the hospital having a steroid shot, I'm back. Um, so here's what happened with that. I called because I wanted it. Because in the beginning of the month, when I met with her, my ENT, um, she's like, how's everything been going since we did the shot in March? And I said, she's great, you know, maybe one attack, two attacks, and everything's been great. And in the last couple of weeks, she said, we'll call if things pick up, and then we'll do it, we'll do it again. In the last two weeks, it really became a nightmare, um, where I really wasn't getting the, the, the four or five attacks a week, but it was two or three, and I didn't want to progress. So I called her and said, I want a steroid shot, so she took me in today. I talked to them on Friday, and they took me in today. So, yeah, basically, and it's not too bad. And in my case, I had a hole. My tube, they, she took my tube out because she said, your eardrum, that tube is going to fall in your middle ear because the hole is expanding now. Um, so I'm going to pull it out, and that's going to heal on its own. So she took that out, but she still took the shot in through that hole. So I didn't have to have my ear numb, ear numb, my ear numb, my eardrum numb, numbed with whatever they use, lidocaine, whatever it is, it's a drop, it's drops. So I didn't have to have it numb. But in most cases they do numb because they do go through the eardrum. So, you know, they put that in, then you lie on your side for about 15 minutes. That's when I was making that video, um, you know, because they want everything to drain inside. And literally, you really feel like you're in a fishbowl because it, it's just everything's muffled. You can't hear. So, you know, we did that. And I did that. And then 15 minutes later, take my blood pressure. I felt good enough to drive. They said, do you feel good enough to drive? I'm like, yeah, I do. So, because I, I drove there. So I felt good enough to drive. And um, so they let me go. And I got to see her in six months for checkup, follow-up. In between that six months, she wants me reevaluated again for the cochlear implant um, because, as she said, um, that nerve, I don't want to wait any longer doing this, and we're, we're going to reevaluate you again because she said, Medicare will pay for it, but the problem is, is that if we do end up getting audited and they see something that they don't like, you might get a bill. And at this point, I was like, well, you know, I get a bill, I get a bill. There's nothing I can do. We just pay it. Um, but she's like, let's get me evaluated. I like the idea of you getting the bicross hearing aids. Uh, because for now, it'll give you some, you won't be able to, you know, get the full effect from a cochlear, like a cochlear, but you'll have some functionality on the side with hearing. So, yeah, and you need the hearing aid in this ear anyways. So... Yeah, stick with that stuff because you're still going to need it even with the cochlear. And we'll go from there. And I was like, okay, fine. So I made an appointment for six months. Get that and hopefully, you know, I'll have my hearing aids by then. But hopefully, um, you know, that all works out and I can have the cochlear done. But um, for the people who are actually asking, you know, if the steroid shots work, they help. I mean, and they did. I'm, I'm, I'm proof of it. Because from March to June, to beginning of June, I was good. And then it started after a couple of weeks ago. But for that three months, it was nice because I was able to run out and do what I want, this, that, and the other thing. And um, so then everything was came back, so I had it done. You, you're going to have to have it done. Some people haven't done, redone. Some people haven't done every six months, uh, once a year. Um, you know, and it really helps them. So... You know, the steroid shot, 
is worth it's it's worth a shot it's worth a shot it is it's worth a shot it's worth trying because one it's not going to take out your hearing it, you know it's not going to cause any damage that isn't already there um so it's really kind of a a nice way to try to you know stop the vertigo stop your you know th the things that are going on and if you if you got some hearing loss from vertigo then you know some of that hearing can be regenerated so come back because of the reduction of the swelling of the cochlear so you want it it's not bad okay it doesn't hurt that bad does it hurt i'm not gonna lie yeah it hurts but it's not like a, um it's not like on a scale on a scale from one to ten where one is the weakest ten is the strongest it's not it's not an 11 it's probably like a two or a three and then after that, it's just kind of sore for, for, for a day or so. Um, but, yeah, you know what? I've said it before. I'll say it again. It's worth a shot. It's not like the gentamicin, because what the gentamicin does is kill the nerve. Okay? And what happens with that, okay, is, yeah, it might stop the vertigo, but you're also going to lose your hearing. And you're gonna lose it pretty damn fast. Um, so it's you don't have it's not that big of a risk to do it. Okay, to do the the, the steroid shot. So give it a shot. For those of you who question about it, give you know, give it a try. It should work fine for you, hopefully. Um, you know, I'd rather have the shot in the ear than go through the prednisone. I hate prednisone. Um, I'm my wife wants to throw me out of the house every time I have it um because <laughs> it just makes me angry it doesn't even make me hungry it just makes me angry <laughs> so on that note hey guys uh take care and i will talk to you all soon and uh, have a good one bye